Yo, this is my gym. I did four years here. I love Malloy. This is where it all started. Jack Curran, rest in peace. It's my gym, yo. This is my gym. Most of you guys, what, sophomores, freshmen? Yeah, yeah. I remember when I, when I was a sophomore, 10th grade, I was the best 10th grade in the, in the country. And I came back, 9th grade, I had won the city championship. We won the city championship in 85. In sophomore year, I was 86, so I started getting so much attention. But Coach Curran, he always told me what interviews I could have and couldn't have. He always kept me level-headed. It saved me, you know, from you know, being in the street and doing wrong. You know, I, I lived, like, negativity, and then I came to see positive in Malloy with different people I interacted with. It was a great opportunity for me to come here. And then Howie Lawrence, just a childhood friend of, of the neighborhood that coached girls, at Lost Battalion Hall, where the recreation center would come, he paid my tuition. He, I, I didn't even have no strings attached to him or nothing. He paid my tuition, but the only thing he said was, I had this I have it, a B average. If I don't have a B average, he'll stop paying my tuition. And um, he paid my tuition and I had a B average. So it's no shortcuts in life. If you do take the shortcut, believe me, you, it's gonna catch up. It's gonna catch up to you. Whatever you do, try to do it the right way. I'm trying to get to the point where doing the right thing when nobody's watching. It's a simple fact of just integrity. You know, get that in your life and then, you know, you'll go a long way. But when I was here, you know, it was like a, a sanctuary for me to come here and, 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 and interact and play sports. And, um, and, I, and I feel proud and honored to like come and speak to y'all. I come here.